going on guys let's look at this problem right here here we have a prism and a light ray is hitting that prism 10 degree with the horizontal and 40 degree with the normal and the question here is asking us to find the theta 4 so theta 4 is basically after this light ray leave the prism what's the angle that light ray is going to make with the normal that's the question here okay now in order to do this one we are going to draw the ray diagram now first uh, we have to know what's the angle of refractive angle of this one this light ray inside okay so to find that one we have to use the Snell's law and we know that Snell's law is n1 sine theta 1 is equal to n2 sine theta 2 okay so here we know that uh, this theta theta is basically the angle this uh, ray with making with the normal okay here we know that this is our normal right and uh, we know that this angle we are trying to find the theta 2 so let's uh, rear in this equation this is going to be sine theta 2 is equal to n1 sine theta 1 divided by n2 and here this is uh, n1 is going to be the ar that is 1 and n2 is let's call this one n2 n2 is going to be the index of refraction of the glass that is 1.56 and uh, we know these two and we are trying to find theta 2 so we have to do one more thing we have to bring the sine to this side so this is going to become sine inverse sine inverse n1 sine theta 1 divided by n2 okay now let's go ahead and plug the values sine inverse n1 is this um, r so that's going to be just one and sine theta 1 is the angle that uh, this light ray is making with the normal that is 40 degree so this is going to be sine 40 divided by n2 that's going to be index of refraction of the prism that's going to be 1.56 and if you calculate this one you should get 24.3 degree so this angle is what's the angle that light ray the refracted light ray is going to make with the normal and if we draw the ray inside the refractive angle is going to make 24.3 with the normal so we know that this is our normal and this is 24.3 and we extended these two lines right here so if we extend these two lines this angle should be equal to the other side and the other side we know that this angle is 30 degree right so this opposite direction also should be exactly 30 degree and we know that this is 24.3 so this one must be 5.7 degree okay now after that now we found out this one now we have to know what's the angle here we are going to have like after this this is going to refract again but to find theta 4 is our question theta 4 is after it leaves the prism but before we do that we have to know what's going to happen inside of this one right to find that one what we can do is we know that this is horizontal and if you draw a line parallel to horizontal like this if you draw a horizontal like this and these two are parallel and this angle is making with this one 5.7 degree so this is a z zip right so when we have a parallel uh, parallel line and that is z zip those two angles should be equal so this one 5.7 degree so this one also 5.7 degree right and uh, we know that horizontal and the normal is making 30 degree so here also if i draw a normal line with this one okay if i draw a normal line with this side that one also must make 30 degree so this one should be also 30 degree so th total angle should be 35.7 degree okay so let's call this one theta theta 3 and this is theta 2 and this is theta 3 and now we are trying to find what's the other side so we have we have to know where this light is going to refract after it hits the glass again where it's going to refract to do this one we can use the Snell's law again Snell's law here we are going to use n3 sin theta 3 is equal to n4 sin theta 4 okay we are trying to find the sin theta 4 theta 4 is the question now to find the theta 4 we had to rear in this equation sin theta 4 is going to be equal to n3 sin theta 3 divided by n4 
and uh, let's re uh, so this is sine theta 4 but we need theta 4 only so theta 4 is going to be sine inverse of n3 sine theta 3 uh, over n4 and we have to know n3 n3 is this medium we are looking at theta 3 is in this side so the medium, the, this angle is this one, exactly the same glass, but I'm going to put, instead of N2, I'm going to put N3 equal to 1.56. So we don't have confusion with N2 and N3, right? So we can put N3 is equal to 1.56 and outside is going to be air. So the index of refraction of the air is equal to one. And this is 1.56. Now let's go ahead and plug the values. So this is going to be sine inverse. N3 is 1.56 multiply by the theta 3 that is the angle that is making with the normal okay here we have the ray and the angle the ray making with the normal is 35.7 degree so this is going to be sine 35.7 degree divided by n4 n4 is r that's going to be just one and if you calculate this one you should get 65.6 degree so this, the refractive angle is going to be 65.6 degree from the normal. So it's going to refract like this. Okay, so the theta 4 is going to be 65.6 degree. That's our question. The question is asking us to find the theta 4. That is 65.6 degree. And if this is 65.6 degree, we know that we extended this line, right? We extended this line. And whatever this angle, this angle is 30 degree. So if we extend this one, this other side also must make 30 degree. Okay, in case if you want to know what this angle is, if you extend this one line, uh, this, li this two line, that will give you exactly the same angle. So this is also going to be 30 degree. And uh, we know the total angle is 65.6. So if this is 30, this one must be 35.6. Okay, and that's how we do this kind of problem like this. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.